Hey fam, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, robertanton.com, with your American Idol No Frills commentary from a singer. All right, let's get this thing kicked off. I hope I'm not too rough today. I got a little bit of scruff growing and stuff like that, uh, but I'm not doing a gig until Saturday, so I'm chilling out right now, and it's cold, so I need that little extra hair on my face. Um, today was the top for an American Idol, and they did Songs of the Silver Screen, you know, songs for movies. Um, Jamie Foxx was the mentor. I believe it is the only person who has come up twice in uh, two seasons. In fact, he might only be the only mentor that's ever come, come on twice. Um, but he always gives some great advice. You know, he's a comedian, he's an actor, he's a singer. You know, he has really had a, a wonderful career <clears throat> and something that most of us could only wish for. Uh, we started out the night with Lee DeWise. He did a Kiss from a Rose. I got Rose from a Rose on here. He did, <laughs> he did Kiss from a Rose. And I wrote, it was a perfect song choice from, from him. Um, and he sung it well, but it wasn't note perfect. You know, it was a lot of stuff going on that wasn't supposed to be in there. A lot of pictures that weren't quite where they were supposed to be. Um, I thought he did more connecting in this performance than most of his other performances so far. But there wasn't a wow moment. Um, but he was steady. I mean, he was steady. It was him. It just wasn't great. It was just okay. You know, it was, it was just okay. Um, the judges were not too happy with this performance, especially Simon and Randy. And I can understand that because it wasn't great. And this is the top four. Everybody should be up in their game as, as Jamie was telling them they really should. And he, I, don't, I don't feel like he upped it at all. In fact, I think he probably went backwards. Except for the one thing that they've been getting at him about. And that's connecting with the audience. Really like picking out people and, and, and really connecting. I think he did that quite well. Um, Michael Lynch did. Will You Be There? Um, I don't know that I like the song choice, but I wrote that he did a good job with the song. And it also was not spectacular. It was just not great. I didn't feel any, um, anything special going on. He was just good, you know. Um, and he should have been wonderful. We're up at the top four, and we're going to soon be at the top three. And it, it doesn't feel like people were battling to get into the top three. They were all just kind of, uh, uh, all except for one. And we'll get to that one. Um, Falling Slowly. Of course, they had duets in this one. And <laughs> Crystal and Lee did Falling Slowly. <clears throat> and I wrote, I like the battling guitar thing. It was interesting. But I didn't like their positioning. They were face-to-face. And the audience was like kind of outside. So that kind of that kind of blocks everybody else. Like if I'm looking at the whole time, if I'm looking at my computer screen when I'm talking to you, you, you don't really feel like you're getting anything, do you? I mean, it's just not very personal. You know, you, uh, and that's how it was. That's how they were singing to each other. And it was totally leaving out all of the audience. So <clears throat> it didn't really work. Um, I also wrote um, that Lee often drowned Crystal out. And as I was watching their performance, I could see that Lee was right up on the mic as he tends to be. He was really up here. And Crystal had the more presentable, you know, uh, a distance from the microphone. She was here and he was here. So, of course, he was blasting her a lot of the time. When they were together, their voices blended decently. But um, most of the time, he was really just overpowering her. Um, Casey James did Mrs. Robinson, a very interesting choice of song. I love the song actually by Simon Garfunkel, but um, yeah, I wrote that it was bland and blah. Um, I love this song I wrote, uh, but felt nothing. I felt nothing from him. It was sung pretty straight and it didn't have any spark. Um, even his eyes were blank, and it's just one thing I keep talking about. I think Jamie kind of mentioned this to him, too, that he really needed to try to seduce whoever he was singing to, which was the entire audience and the viewing public at home, and he wasn't doing that. He was just kind of sitting there, and here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you should know. It just it just, it fell flat for me. Um, I don't think he had a point of view. That's, that's one thing. I don't think he really knew what he was talking about or that he was really trying to, you know, trying to put across a story or get someone to come in and, you know, give him a little bit of some, <laughs> some, some. Um, and I don't think he could have seduced anyone with that performance. Definitely uh, 
not Jamie Foxx, and probably not even Kara, who's already crazy about him. Uh, Simon thought it was lazy, and it was a strange song choice, and I very much agree with Simon on that. Um, Crystal Bowersox did I'm All Right from Caddyshack, which they talked about quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> but I loved her choice. I loved her choice of song. I loved what she was wearing, and I loved the way that she delivered the song. Um, I wrote, it was good, a good unexpected song from her, but she did a great rendition and gave it strength as well as tenderness. You know, sometimes she was blasting it out, but she would like end up doing the beginning of the phrase. She'd be like, ah! So it was very, it was very much, she was very given at all kinds of levels. So I really, really liked that. Um, I think she was the only one that was really, really bringing it tonight and expecting to be in the top. You know, the top three, the top two, the top one, hopefully. Um, and she brought it. She brought it like she expected to win. Um, she And at the end, she kind of had this primal scream. You know, I've been doing the primal scream thing, right? So she kind of had this primal scream going on that was really surprised. I was like, ah! At the end, I was like, go, oh, girl! <laughs> it was something like, oh, okay, whatever. It was a, it was a really nice, just the whole, night, the whole performance was nice. It had a nice arc to it, and she did a lot with it. Um, the judges also seemed to love her rendition, and, and two of them said that it was better than the original. Um, the last duet, Have You Ever Really Loved a Woman, Casey and Michael did, um, and they were behind the judges. It was a good position. I thought everything looked good. But I wrote, this kind of matchup between the two of them really shows the difference between a good voice, a good vocal, and the instrumentalist who sings. Um, and I, I, that might be a little harsh, but it's just the way I felt about it. Um, Casey started out, and that was a great thing, because Casey started out the performance. He did the first part of the performance. And you could see, you, it was such a huge change when Michael came in on the vocal. It was just, it was just night and day. Um, I wrote, the change from Casey's part to Michael's was like night and day. Ah, look, here we go. <laughs> I also wrote, Casey should have been playing, and he did wonderful, wonderful work on the guitar. He should have been playing guitar and doing background vocals, and Michael should have been doing lead vocals. And that's, that's just the way it was. The, the judges really liked the, duet, the duets. They said even better than the performances. I don't know how they liked the duets better than like uh, Crystal's performance, but you know that's that's what they felt about it. But uh, the blending of the voices and the working together is something that I like a lot. And you can learn a lot from working with someone, especially someone better than you. <laughs> and so hopefully Casey picked up a lot, and hopefully Lee picked up a lot in their uh, collaboration. All right, people, tell me what you thought. Tell me who you think is going home. I think everybody knows who I really want to go home at this point, the, the, the weakest link. Um, and I, I don't even have to say it. So, and if you can guess who that is or who I think that is, then uh, pop down in the comments down in my crotch. <laughs> That's what everybody's been saying. <laughs> and uh, tell me what you think. Uh, have you been enjoying this season? I, I've had a pretty good time. There's been a lot to talk about for me. So I thank American Idol for that. All right, peace. I'm out. Let the choir say the joy.